Think about it. You can control rage your rage. Rage has been nerfed, though. Rage has been nerfed, but think about it. He's at 115. He can guarantee that he's in 120, and rage turns on without having to worry about his opponent hitting him too hard. It's, it's, it's true meta. But then literally any of his moves, like some of his moves ha do, do hurt him now. Like I think neutral air now hurts him. No, I think it's normal old Pikachu neutral air. Oh, is it? I haven't seen it. I just saw Pikachu's new air. I feel, here we go. Robin versus me, Gunner, AKA HO3K Candela, AKA Helper, AKA Isabel. It's a monster. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually it. hate it. The pop gun's Ooh. pretty cute though. Pop gun that she got from like freaking I don't okay. know, like so Area 51. <laughs> hey, hey kids. <laughs> you ever wanted to charge your projectiles and that was your entire game plan? Yep. I mean the thing is, like, Burnham's got the edge here slightly in terms of projectile gameplay, because he has the ability to reflect, which Jewel does not. So that could become a factor, yeah, but, but now you see Jules pushing the aggressive. And let's not forget what uh, Robin has that Me Gunner doesn't. A kill confirm. <laughs> she has power behind her. And honestly, the way that Proton will probably have to play this is that nickel and dime time him out if you need to. He doesn't. He's not afraid to do it, especially as a character that can struggle to kill. If you just get your opponent to 180 and then like second stock it at 180, and you might not be able to kill him, but six minutes has gone by, and that's all right. That down air, that freaking uh, arc thunder, yes, arc thunder to down air is ridiculous. You can kill Bowser in like seven years. You gotta respect it. Back to the charging war. Oh my god. So at that point, he was just trying to use his book. He was trying to recharge it. Or trying to like use the book against him, but then uh, Proton ended up approaching. Couldn't get the up smash, so I'll Jewel going for the fast fall. I mean, I like the idea of trying to get his book purely because it gives him another projectile option. He is losing his projectile war considering that, you know, when he, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Me Gunner has more options. And so just by giving that book such a tricky use of that item can uh, possibly give him an opening, give him an edge because he does need that right now. Oh, Proton already dishing out 100. Oh, he's dead. The thing is, both Me Gunner and Robin have the ability to do that. You know, throw some fire on the edge of the, the where the ledge is for like an edge guard opportunity. So it's just like pulling the tricks against each other. Yeah, and <laughs> oh, that was beautiful timing on that uh, neutral gap. Oh, because he has extra ledge invincibility. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so actually, he doesn't have to worry about our fire. Granted, I think that uh, Jewel can still punish that, but at least he can he can get around it relatively easily. Okay, bro, I'm sitting at 111%. I like how the shot did not connect to the back throw at all. Me Gunner's aim is just atrocious. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's always fun to watch Proton play is that he just, he moves like crazy. Like that back air gives Me Gunner so much momentum. You know, you got Jewel over here just charging his laser. Oh, I love this use of the grab. Me Gunner might not get much off of grabs, but she does scare people into shield. You know, because of the fact she doesn't get anything off of grabs. And so, you know, it does give him the advantage and gives him extra percent, and then percent is important. Maybe not so much this time around, just because of the fact that, you know, 100 and uh, he's up an entire stock. Down throw, trying to get the up air afterwards. Air dodging coming through hot from Jewel. Goes for the Thrawn. Good shield coming out from Brodom. Saw coming knew he had it fully charged, but now... Proton's got him at that pretty high percent. Still sitting on two stocks. I thought you, you're talking about the nickel and dime timeout strategy from Jewel, but Proton's the one in the lead currently. Yeah, no, I think that's actually probably Proton's game plan. Just because he's the one who's going to struggle kill. I, kill he's like, still playing mad aggressive. He is. Like, he is still approaching, which is very peculiar. I mean, not actually that peculiar. Against he, Robin, sometimes you want to do it. The thing is that Proton actually has, like, really good neutral. Like, really good at studying habits. Really good at knowing when his opponents are scared and pressured. And so if he sees an opportunity, he will take it. Uh, even if it means that he has to go on the aggressive. Level. Gets the grab. Tries to go for the up air. That time we saw Jewel able to double jump away from it. Because he was trying to go for the 50-50. Either he air dodges or jumps. Oh. Trying to get that read on the roll. Or the get up. Let's not forget that... I think, what do you think, Proton is 40%, nah, like 30% away from dying from uh, Checkmate? 
Uh, I think you have to be at like 70 or 80. With this much rage? Yes. Something like that. I oh. would not be surprised. Forward oh. smash. Ooh. Actually killed. Okay. He actually took a percent from being in the blast, like the edge of the blast zone too. So I was like, maybe he'll survive. But that we are X percent did not help Proton actually get the stock though. No, of course not. I'm it's just not saying, not. like it just. Oh yeah, on. no, no. I know. I'm just for those of you at home who maybe oh. don't understand. Not that. Maybe we're getting some new viewers. You know, people getting excited for new viewers and sm for Smash 4's decline. <sighs> Here we go, down in city. All right, yeah. So I like this stage a lot. Um, Mi Gunner, not really a character that's known for killing off of the top. You know, there is up smash, but it's not really that strong. So, uh, ooh, nice grab. But uh, Robin, on the other hand, she is notorious for those powerful grab to up air. I can't believe the Mies have such a bad role. Or at least me Gunner does. Sometimes it'd be like that. One thing that you no that uh, you notice is that that uh, the forward air from uh, Proton is working out really well just because Robin doesn't have the speed to catch him. Like, uh, just Robin has the slowest run speed in the game, and air speed is not that great either. So when he's going around here, yeah, it can just be difficult to actually punish it, even if he knows where he's going to be. No. No. That is mad. Oh, jeez. I feel so bad for Jeweled Man. He went for the Nosferatu. And I guess he uses double jump, so he just kind of fell to his death. Well, no, he goes into free fall. Oh, free fall. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Damn. And you do not want to be losing just random stocks like that against Proton. He's so good at playing with the lead. He's so good at just nickel and diming you. And when you have one stock to one stock, it doesn't feel that bad because you're like, okay, you have rage and there's not much you can do to kill me. But when you're down an entire stock, every time you get nicked by forward air, you know, hit by side B, it does really matter. Yeah, you got uh, Proton, you know, like you said, he has that lead, so he's going to be dancing on those platforms. That being said, he actually hasn't managed to rack up that much damage so far. Ooh! He gets no killed by the up B. You got that uh, L win sending him flying. I should have some projectiles. Yeah, these guys just taking it patient right now. Okay, I like the idea behind that. He actually gets hit by the Arc Thunder, though. And now he's taking some damage, 35%. He's about, you know. Jewel's starting to bring him back a bit. Yeah. Got that one more use of the uh, L Thunder and the Arc Fire to get the book. Be able to play some with some projectiles. Able to just shine that away. Good conversion from Protom. Same at 99%. Connects the up air. Wait a moment. He is looking pretty good right now. I love it. He's canceling his momentum with that shine. And now, Proton went like one hit away from making it into winners finals. I oh my! One hit. This is me, Gunner. It's gonna take a little more oh, than one hit. Oh, there Two it is! Proton moves In on winners to finals. winners finals. A me, Gunner at Zeno. Shut up. Question: What is Proton's record against Dill like? Have they, I don't know. I don't think they've ever played. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, they probably have. I don't know it. Hey, guys. Pro